Like there'll never be no comparison You're live on the show Sit back and have a listen All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison, and you're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And this episode of the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live is brought to you by Cue Ball Head Entertainment. That's right. You get to see some of the fights that you want to see while your favorite fighter uh, that you really love will get taken a dump on by Cue Ball Head. Hey, but listen, watch all the entertainment brought on to you by Cue Ball Head today. All right, guys. Listen, man, this is a great story, okay? Valentina Shevchenko and Pavel Fedotov. You guys always hear me talk about Pavel Fedotov. You guys always hear me talk about the man, the miracle, the legend, and Pavel. You know what? This man has been training Valentina for over 20 years. And, uh, you know, Valentina got dropped off into the gym, you know, when she was nine years old. And, uh, you know, Pavel, he he didn't pay much attention, you know, because, uh, you know, he was dealing with a lot of other future world champions and he was coaching a lot of adults. But when he realized that Valentina and Antonina, they were tough, he started paying more attention to them, you know. Um, You know, he was saying that Valentina would get punched really hard, you know, by boys. And he really didn't want her at that young of age getting, you know, punched that hard. So, you know, he kind of, he matured her, man. He matured her. But, you know, the reason why I bring this up is because, uh, you know, Team Shachenko, man, they've been hell-bent on getting this title from Amanda Nunes. I mean, they have. They've been hell-bent on getting this title from Amanda. And, um, you know, man, it's their goal. You know, Pavel even said, you know what? Since the UFC is the largest organization in the world, he said to win that title is a dream come true for coach and athlete. And, you know... I'm a huge Valentina fan because I'm a fan of the fighting style. Now, a lot of people, they'll tell you that her style is boring. But to me, it's a technical masterpiece, man. See, you have to know what you're looking at when you watch Valentina Shevchenko fight. Because what Valentina does is she'll make you fight another fight because she takes away what you do best. And you give this girl time, you know, she's going to completely shut down your offense. And she's going to figure out a way to, to defeat you. Okay, and people, you know, they're saying that Amanda, a lot of people are saying Amanda's going to knock out Valentina and stop her this time. I, I don't know, guys. I don't think that's going to happen. I actually, I favor Valentina to win this fight. And I think that Valentina is going to take away what Amanda does best. Because if Valentina can take away the ground from Amanda, you know it's open season. Okay, it's open season. You know, and I've heard things such as, you know, with Valentina too short, her reach is short, Amanda's reach is too long. But, you know, you have to look at Holly Holmes' reach, okay? Look at Holly Holmes' reach. And, and you know, Valentina made the adjustments, and she became the counterpuncher with the fighter with a longer reach, okay? So, folks, that, that goes out the window. Um, if Valentina can take away that ground game of Amanda Nunez, it's open season. Valentina going to pick her apart. I mean, this girl is a master boxer trapped inside of a of an MMA body that knows how to do it. Um, you know, and Pavel, you know, I like one thing that they do that I read in this article, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below in the article. I like how Pavel, they change gyms. Okay, they don't stay in the same place, you know, for more than, you know, a week or so. Well, no, I'm sorry, not for more than a week, but they don't stay in the same place doing training camp. Um, you know, they go to different gyms to get a feel for different styles and different fighters. I think this is very good, man. This is this is awesome. Like more coaches ought to do this. They travel around, you know, and, and fight different fighters. That's good. This man knows what he's doing. Yeah, you talk about a dude that got shot. What back in 2016, Pavel got shot. He looked good for somebody who don't got his ass shot. He do. He looked good for somebody that's done got his ass shot. I mean, you know, he got shot. This man came right back. You know, Pavel remind me of Yoda. You see how he's sitting down right there? <laughs> there go Yoda right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Don't Pavel look like Yoda? I mean, look, look. They sitting the same way, man. They sitting like a damn Buddha, man. <laughs> oh, man. Let me stop picking on Pavel, man. I like Pavel. I'm going to interview Pavel one day. I am. I'm going to interview Pavel. And I'm going to tell you, boy, that's going to be the best interview of the coach's natural life, okay? I mean, just let the coach tell you, you know. The coach would love that interview. But anyway, yeah, man. So, 
that's that's what they do man they get a, a sense of different styles when they go to these different gyms man um and i like what this guy does pavel is no nonsense man you can't play like this dude if you ain't serious he ain't trying to train you and and not just anybody can train with pavel man he, he, he real selective man on who he train you know you got some gyms man that if you walk into the gym they'll work with you you gotta pass a series of, of tests man to get this man to even pay attention to you I mean, dude had Valentina in his gym as a nine-year-old, and he didn't even pay attention to her at first. That, that ought to tell you something, okay? But, you know, he saw that Valentina was tough, man. He saw that she was real, real tough, and she was willing to get in there and mix it up with whoever. And so he knew he had a winner. I mean, think, man. Somebody nine years, you know, that's, that's patience. Okay, that is patience. Like, you sit there. And for nine years, okay, at nine years old, and then now she's 21, or she's 29. For 20 years, you matured a talent for 20 years. That's loyalty. And you know how some fighters, they get in there and get their ass whooped. You know, they'll blame their trainers and say it's all their trainer fault. You know, Valentina, when she lost to Amanda Nunes, she was good about the whole thing, man. She didn't blame Pavel. Valentina blamed herself. Like, she literally got in there and blamed herself and said, I didn't execute the game plan. And she knew she lost, okay? But I find that really fascinating because she's 29, you know? And, you know, in this generation, these folks, they always look. You know, these younger fighters, they look for somebody to blame instead of, you know, actually looking at what they did or looking in the mirror. So, if you guys are wondering why I'm really a fan of the bullet, it's, it's really more the fighting style, but more the personality. She no nonsense, man. She ice cold. Her veins are ice cold. She not trying to be your friend in the octagon. She not trying to love you or hug you. Valentina ain't trying. Valentina get trying to get in there and beat your ass. That's what she trying to do. Pavel and she learned from the best. Pavel ain't trying to be your friend. Look, Pavel be working them damn girls to death. You get in there, and you complaining, man. Pavel be like, he probably be like, look, shut up, shut up, and get in there and fight. Shut up. We got work to do. I'm just saying, you know. Pavel don't fool with you, man, if you ain't trying to if you ain't trying to be a champion. He ain't messing with you. And I like that in a coach, okay? So now you guys understand, you know, why I always say that Pavel has a plan. And you look at Pavel, he real deceptive looking, man. He don't really look like he can fight. But when you see this man, this man doing handstands and doing all kind of crazy stuff, hey, you mess around Pavel, get in there with your ass. But guys. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. Go Team Bullet. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.